welcome back to my channel. So today I thought that I would do a testing MUO makeup video. And half of the makeup what I have here is um, what I've already had. But um, the other half is is what I bought today. And I'm also sorry if the lighting changes just because I'm using like the window lighting. So yeah. So without further ado, let's get right on to the video. So the first step to my everyday makeup routine would be primer, but they didn't have a primer while I couldn't find it. So we're just gonna jump right into concealer. So I got the Cover and Conceal, Conceal MUA Makeup Academy. And this is one of the things that I had before, and this shade is way too light, so let's open it. Oh. I, um, so the first thoughts is the applicator and I know that I've had this before but I don't really like the applicator that much just because it's just like brings out tons of product what isn't that good because I like going in again and then like that but yeah and it's a bit of a mess. So I'm just gonna put this on my face. I'm just using the Real Technique Beauty Blender. This fourteen tries quite quick, so that's why I'm leaving it like this. Then I can actually get round to all of it, and then I don't have a like W and dots on my face. That would not be good really blend that well so this didn't really give me a lot of coverage but it did kind of cover my under eyes a bit but not a lot but now I'm going to go on to like a cream blush and this is the MUA look and I and I really like this packaging and this is just a whipped velvet blush in the color Hedonic. I've actually never used a cream blush before, so I'm just going to use my finger. And I'm just going to blend it out with a beauty blender. It actually burns out quite good, and I think that it gives you quite a nice colour. I actually kind of like this because it gives you quite a nice colour, and um. It's easy to blend. So now I am on to powder, so I'm just going to use the MUA Skin Define Hydro Powder. And this is one what I've already had, and I'm just going to use the Real Technique Powder. I'm just going to put this where I put my concealer. And I don't really like the powder sort of effect, but yeah. And now I am on to bronzer, so I'm just going to use the MUA Makeup Academy Sunkiss Bronzer. And I'm just going to use um, the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. First of all, it is quite orangey. blends away quite easily in some areas it is quite patchy I don't know if that's because of the concealer I'm not too sure or like the powder I'm not sure now it's a highlight so now for highlights I have had this before and it is fake I love it. And this is just the MUA Makeup Academy and Just Your Skin Shimmer Highlight in the colour Iridescent Gold. I'm going to use a Real Technique Bold Metal Brush. Guys, I absolutely love this highlighter. That highlight is popping, girl! And that highlights for the goddesses and guys I really really recommend this um, and it's like actually really affordable I think it's three pounds so now I am on to eyebrows and they didn't really have lots of selections for my color eyebrows but I just picked up this brow defined tinted brow mascara and 
it was quite dark and this is only like two pounds I think so first thoughts I think it's a bit clumpy first thoughts the handle like this bit is quite long but then this bit is quite short so it's kind of hard to apply it because how short it is but I made a mistake. I you know of orangey. Mm. My thoughts on this is that it is all right, but like it's a bit orangey for me. And if you have my eyebrows, you guys will get my point. But I think if you have more bolder eyebrows, like my sister's or something, it'll look all right. Um, and it's kind of orange is orange but it looks all right so now we are on to eyeshadow and this is one of my favorite steps of makeup so all i'm using is the mua eyeshadow palette in the color like shades glamour gold and this has six and it was only like three pounds fifty so really cheap and this palette only has shimmers well, I love shimmers, so. So, I'm going to do this colour in my lid and this colour in my inner corner. And I'm not too sure how pigmented they are. I'm not even sure what side I put them on. So, they're not pigmented whatsoever. What has that done? I'm going to go actually for this shade because it looks darker. pigmented <laughs> so there is quite a bit of fallout but it's really pigmented I love it so I'm just going to use this shade with my finger and on my finger it actually looks really pigmented it might be a nice highlight So on thoughts of this, I actually really like it, but this shade wasn't pigmented, but I think it's just because it isn't kind of a dark shade, but this shade is really pigmented, so hopefully these two shades are going to be pigmented, and this colour up here was really, really nice, so, new face. And this shade here, you could use as a highlight, just because, why not? So now for mascara, I'm just going to use... The Define Eye Light Lengthening Mascara. And I think this was, was only £3, so. What? I don't. So, guys, I love the one, but I think them is kind of bendy and it isn't clumpy. Oh my god, guys, I absolutely love this before, after. And this was only three pounds. And it isn't clumpy, but the wand is kind of like really bendy, so. But I actually really like this mascara. It's kind of one of my faves. And the mascaras what I have is a kind of like seven-ish pound. And this was three pounds, so go and get it. Now we're on to lips. So for my lips, I'm just going to use um, a lipstick in the colour in the shade 9 and I like this shade because they did kind of have a nude shade but um but all the lipstick things were open so I did not go for that but this was closed and it looks new so let's try it oh my god So first of all, it's really pigmented and it is really creamy. It's kind of like a metallic lipstick. So yeah, I love you. And this is the end of me testing MUA, MUA makeup and I actually really enjoyed it. I like everything, but my least favourite things were probably the concealer. Um, and the eyebrows because the eyebrow pomade it probably was my fault for getting a different color but mm, they didn't really have 
a lot of selection for blondes like my color my eyebrows are clear but and the concealer is just because it's really like patchy and it's hard to blend and it dries out really quickly so that is the end of this video if you did like it please give it a big thumbs up comment down below any video requests or just comment if you liked it subscribe if you're new because it will make my day i love you Mwah. Thank you.